What's up, Brian Tong here, and we're back with the Googlelicious for everything Google that we can pack inside of a show. There's always plenty of action and a lot around YouTube lately. Now, according to Variety, Google's video behemoth is exploring a subscription video service that would compete directly with Netflix, Hulu, and others. YouTube has already started negotiating deals for its own service, and in the report, an unnamed YouTube partner says the company not only wanted to discuss a licensing deal, but it's very aggressive in moving forward quickly. Now we know viewing behaviors are slowly but surely changing and TV's not dead yet, but online video continues to grow as a more and more legitimate piece of the revenue pie. Now the YouTubes is also adding a couple new features, including their new cards feature that allows creators to add interactive pop-up like cards on top of your videos that can be displayed on both desktop and mobile. Google hopes this will be a slicker way to eventually replace annotations and inform viewers about other videos, merchandise, or playlists and have a sleek look as well. And 360 degree videos are now also live on YouTube. Google promised they'd be coming in January and they're exactly what they sound like. You can use your Android device and move your phone around to look around the scene. On your desktop browser, you can drag your mouse around to see the different parts of the video. It's really cool stuff. And with VR headsets gaining more momentum, more content like this is going to help push the platform forward. All right, the president of HTC America says, HTC has a big announcement for US customers on Wednesday, which could possibly point at the US availability of the new HTC One M9. It's another advancement in the line with a new metal finish, 20 megapixel camera with a sapphire lens, and their new flavor boom sound with Dolby Digital support plus the ability to instantly connect to different speakers for playing music. But something also to be aware of, according to Dutch website tweakers who were running the GFX Bench benchmark test, well, the HTC One M9 recorded a surface temperature around 55 degrees Celsius or 131 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, that's hot. Now, it's a benchmark and phones do run hotter during these tests, but it could support some of the reported issues with a Snapdragon 810 processor overheating. Now, we're not saying this will happen to you and it was run on unfinalized software, but this is the one case where you don't wanna be the uh, hottest phone on the market. And if you like phone renders, here's some for you. Twitter account OnLeaks recently showed off a few press renders of the LG G4, which if true, has a design that is more of a hybrid between the LG G3 and the latest G Flex 2. Now with this design, a full metal body seems unlikely and early reports from Korean media claim the design would be radically different than the G3 with the metal mixtured body. And Sony Xperia fans can take a look at this latest leak from OnLeaks as well at the Z4, which really aligns with some of the design elements that we've seen from the Xperia Z4 tablet that was launched earlier this month. All right, that's gonna do it for this week's show. You can always email us at googlelicious at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time for some more of that Googlelicious. Google